Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Living in Colorado Springs and I am Alicia Armendariz. Today I'm gonna to be talking about one of our very popular neighborhoods here in town and that is Fountain. It is on the south end and it's just growing every day but there are definitely three reasons why people are attracted to that area and I'm gonna talk about it in this video. So if you guys have any questions over anything that I mentioned, please feel free to reach out, call me, text me, leave something in the comments. I am a licensed broker here in the state of Colorado and I would love to help you guys with your real estate needs. So if you also have questions about the buying or selling process, feel free to reach out also. But I'm excited, let's get into it. Three reasons why you guys are gonna like Fountain, Colorado. So what do we always hear in real estate? Location, location, location. And that definitely plays a big part in why Fountain is just a such desired area here in town. First of all, on the map, Fountain does sit about six miles south of technically what is Colorado Springs. It is still part of El Paso County, but it is about six miles south on I-25. And then it kind of just sits there to the east of I-25 and with all the new build that we have going on, it is expanding a little bit more east and then a little bit more south. But with that being said, that's why so many people like that area because it does sit on the southern end, which is right across from Fountain Fort Carson Army Base. The only thing that really separates the base from this neighborhood is the interstate, I-25, and then kind of a bigger green belt, which has a big park, but it's kind of just open space. So if you need to be, you or someone in your household needs to be at Fort Carson, you are a quick shot away. And then also, if you need to be at Peterson Air Force Base, you are about the same distance away. No matter where you live in Fountain, it's about a 15 minute drive to Fort Carson Army Base to the west or to Peterson Air Force Base, just slightly north of the community. So that is a great option. And with a lot of people coming and going with the military and being stationed here, that's why they definitely love this Fountain area. I will say because the military does kind of such a turnover or people know that they're only going to be stationed here for a short amount of time, the Fountain area is also a really great area for investors. If you are looking to get into the rental game, I would definitely consider the Fountain area because like I said, you're just going to have a lot of turnover with the military that know that they aren't going to be here for very long. So just a great option. Also, that's just a great rental neighborhood in general because of these other reasons that I'm going to mention. So yes, you can get to Peterson Air Force Base and Fountain Fort Carson rather quickly, but that is because they off of they are off of some main drags here in town. If you are anywhere within the Fountain area, you can easily go west towards I-25, and then from there you are a quick shot anywhere. You can zoom up and down all of Colorado Springs. You could head down south to Pueblo and just southern Colorado. Also, if the interstate is just too congested or you just happen to be living on the far east side of the Fountain area, you can jump on Mark Sheffield, which is kind of a newer road actually. It used to be just a back road, but now it's actually a very heavily used, and not even heavily, I'm gonna, more, <laughs> more used than it used to be. I shouldn't say heavily, but it is a two lane road that actually goes from the very southern end of the Fountain neighborhood, past Peterson Airport space, past the airport, Colorado Springs Airport, all the way up to the Banning Lewis neighborhood, which is on the northern end of town. So if you just need to zip up and down from the south end to the north end, and you don't wanna use the interstate because you actually might be closer to Mark Sheffield or even Powers Boulevard, which is also Highway 21, um, you can easily get back and forth using that side. So no matter where you are in Fountain, you got main drags to the north and to the east of you. I will say a lot of people also like this area because it just does have a different vibe than the Western uh, neighborhoods here in town. I feel like people who live on the West side like that kind of being part of the mountain view versus living on the East side, you have a mountain view. 
When you live on the east side of town, you're more so going to have a full view of the mountain range. It's very pretty in the evenings when the sun sets, because the sun sets in the west. So you get a very beautiful kind of, kind of silhouette view of the entire mountain range, which consists of Cheyenne Mountain, Pikes Peak, a little bit of um, Red Rocks, Garden of the Gods. So some people actually like having a mountain view versus being on the west side where you're part of the view. You're literally on the mountain. So also because this area is a little bit more flat than the rest of Colorado Springs, it does have a rural feel and a lot more area that is zoned for horses. We don't really have any areas I don't know if we have any areas on the west side of town that are zoned for horses, but you definitely have options there in Fountain. One subdivision within Fountain that is zoned for horses is the Peaceful Valley Estates. And these homes are actually a little bit older. Most of them were built between the 70s up to the early 90s. Um, it's a small little subdivision. It, it only has a couple of homes. There aren't They aren't building any more within that subdivision, but we are actually seeing a little bit more turnover recently. and. Those homes actually sit on a minimum of five acres. I don't think they go much more than that, but they kind of sit a little bit less, a little bit more than right around that five acre mark, but they are zoned for horses. A lot of them are being updated and you can usually get those in a price point of 600,000 up to 900,000. I will note the majority of Fountain does not run um, that high, but that goes into my third reason why I think you guys will love Fountain Fort Carson area. And that is because of affordability. Overall, the Fountain area is one of the most affordable areas here in town. Colorado home prices have been on the rise the last couple of years, but Fountain, as it climbs, it definitely is still staying more affordable than ever. Three popular little kind of subdivisions within Fountain are going to be Cumberland Greens, Larson Ranch East, and then also the Glen at Widefield. Now I will mention real quick, the Glen at Widefield and Larson Ranch East are gonna be about the same uh, price point and what you can get for the number of beds, bath, and square footage. They actually on the map are only just a few miles apart and the only thing that separates them is that Mark Sheffield Road. But I will say that Larson Ranch East is newer homes. Those are built between 2019 and 2020. So they, as home prices are steadily kind of outpacing the Glen at Widefield. I will mention that the Glen at Widefield just remains every year one of what I call best bang for your buck. And that's because the dollar amount that you're paying per a square foot is one of the lowest that we have here in all of Colorado Springs. So definitely look into the Glen at Widefield. So what can you expect from these three most popular subdivisions within town? Well, they're going to run between 430000 up to 680000 Within Cumberland Greens, you can probably find homes are going to average around three to five bedrooms, three bath, and be a two to three car garage. They're also going to be right around that 2700 square foot range. The Glen at Whitefield and Larson Ranch East are going to be more on the four to five bedroom, four bath, also two or three car garage, most likely going to have that side space for an RV or boat, and those are going to be closer to 3,000 to 3,500 square feet of living space. And the last thing I want to mention about Fountain in relation to location is you're just on the south end of Colorado Springs and therefore you are on the southern end of the state. And me personally, since I'm from the southern part of Colorado, I just have a love for everything that is southern Colorado. It just is a different vibe. It's a lot different than Denver and those northern towns. The mountains are different. The ski resorts are different. Everything is just different. The, the vibe has more of a kind of Hispanic and Native American feel. It has a lot of history tied in. There's a lot of national monuments and parks and things to do down south of um, Colorado Springs. And so if you are just wanting to get away for the weekend, you're going to have a lot more flexibility of getting down south to go camping and fishing and hiking and see the sand dunes and what have you versus trying to head north and go through Denver and then you know, wherever your final destination is. So that's just another reason that I love Fountain is if you do want to get away for the weekend or just even throughout the week, um, Southern Colorado is right there at your fingertips, a lot closer than if you were to try and head north. But you guys, that is just my touch on 
Fountain, Fort Carson area here in Colorado Springs. So if you guys have any questions, please again, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you through real estate needs. And also if you could hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified when I make new videos each week on everything that is living in Colorado Springs. So until next one, I hope you guys have a good one.